welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to worship and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths and let go of the busyness of today and allow yourself to be encircled by God's compassion and comfort. You are invited to take refuge in Him. Heavenly Father, thank you that you know all about my day, the demands on my time and the expectations of others. Help me to put aside these concerns as I focus on you, the all-powerful one who is outside of time and has no limits. Open my heart and mind to the wonderful and comforting truths in your word. The psalmist says in Psalm 62 verses 5 to 8, Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall not be shaken. My salvation and my honour depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. In the middle of the stormy sea is a small island, and on that island is a castle-like fortress. It has walls of thick stone that even the mightiest waves must break upon. Inside that castle are provisions and safety for anyone struggling in the surrounding treacherous waters. In 1832, Sir William Hillary built this castle on an island in the Isle of Man's Bay of Douglas. It was created as a safe haven within a dangerous body of water, and it is known locally as the Tower of Refuge. When it was in use, many shipwrecked sailors found sanctuary there from the storms that threatened to overwhelm them. What are the storms in your life? Do you feel tossed and turned by financial pressure? Do waves of relationship stress and work pressure threaten to overwhelm you? God is your tower of refuge this evening. Come and find hope and safety within the solid walls of his presence. Here, you can say with the psalmist, 
I shall not be shaken. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body. Recognize the peacefulness and calm offered by God in his presence. Quiet your mind, allowing God's spirit to still any turbulent thoughts. The storm may still rage, but you are safe in God's solid place of refuge. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. Let's pray. God, my refuge, as I take shelter in you, may I know real peace. From this towering fortress, I can still see the storm, but the waves no longer hold any sense of dread for me. You God, are my rock and my salvation, a place of safety where I can be still and know that you are the Lord. Heavenly Father, You are strong and reliable, all-knowing and dependable. You care for me, and you are fully aware of all those things that threaten my stillness. May I keep coming to take refuge in you, never forgetting that with one word, you can still even the most terrifying storm. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Let's close with a final prayer. Almighty God, thank you for being a safe place when life feels chaotic. As I rest in this fortress of deliverance, I give thanks that you can meet all my needs. There is no storm big enough to threaten you. Even your name speaks of your strength. Jesus, my rock, my fortress, my strong tower, I put all my hope in you.
Amen.